Hello again, Uncle Rod is back for yet another video. Um, actually haven't posted the last one I made yet. Uh, but the final's coming in thick and fast, although I haven't got a huge amount to show. Um, but I thought I'd get one in because I had a bit of time tonight. Um, the wife's in bed to sleep, it's actually nearly one o'clock in the morning. And I've been mucking around with stuff and records and stuff um, all evening. Um, it's still New Zealand Music Month and my commitment to buying New Zealand music has had a little bit of a hit. Um, I've got quite a few mail order um, records coming over the next week. There is at least one record in there that's not a New Zealand music record, um, mainly because it was on Discogs and I needed, I, like, I wanted to buy a couple of three records to help alleviate the cost of postage because it's coming from Europe. Um, it's quite surprising how much um, rare and obscure New Zealand music, which you don't see around in the shops, actually available from the, US, the USA and Europe um, for, via Discogs. It's actually quite impressive. Anyway, um, so I've had a couple of records come in the mail and, and today we went into, um, I took my partner out to, to see a movie again and uh, popped into the warehouse to have a look because there was a New Zealand record floating around in, in the warehouse um, that I'd seen a few times that I was quite keen to get my hands on and I hadn't really bothered with it for so long because there'd been too many other things to go but I uh, had some spare money so um, so while I was in there there was a couple of other records that I found on top of the New Zealand one and the first one of course is this one here um, so the Clash is Sam and Easter triple, re triple album and this is the music on vinyl reissue um, 2013 yeah actually I'll get my reading glasses I should wear my reading glasses when I do this um, old age is creeping up on me um, yeah so this was actually on for a really good price eh, and I couldn't really leave it sitting there I do have it on CD and, I, and as I said in my last video I'm not supposed to be buying CDs that records that I have on CD but I just um, I couldn't turn it down and actually it's I mean it's the hype sticker on the on the um, outer wrapping suggested that it's an audio file quality recording you know um, some of these guys make claims like that and not necessarily live up to them but on first listen um, and there's quite a lot obviously to get through it did sound pretty good um, so on closer inspection we'll see how it goes the other one that I that I found in there today is now I, I think I'd seen this talked about in uh, maybe an uncut magazine or something like that so um, Puss in Boots No Fools No Fun uh, from 2014 uh, Nora Jones and the other two girls um, lovely ladies this is a Blue Note release uh, Sasha Dobson Nora Jones and Catherine Popper um, I have two Little Willie CDs that Nora Jones was in our band with some guys and she did this kind of like Americana country bunch of cover songs and they were really good, they were good CDs, I mean she's a fantastic singer, I'm not into her normal sort of music, um, stuff that's made her really famous but these little projects that she gets involved in, quite, quite cool. Um, it's a lovely recording and I picked it up for 10 bucks so I thought well bugger it let's give it a go it's not bad and um, it's not as good as the Little Willies but I think it's um, pretty cool. The other one I picked up today and it actually fits quite nicely with the last record of this show so this is a New Zealand record that I was looking for uh, Marlon Williams um, I'm not sure if this is his only record it's kind of like a some Caroline Caroline Records, made in Australia. Um, yeah, this has actually kind of got a fairly strong country tinge to it as well. Um, on first listens, first listen, and there's a few comments on Facebook page, New Zealand Facebook page, 
Um, yeah, some comments that they really like this record. First listen for me didn't impress a huge amount, um, but we'll obviously go back to it and you know have a few more listens and see see how it goes. But didn't hit me straight away, and some of it sounded a little bit turgid in the middle of it. But there were some tracks that sounded semi okay. So in the mail that I these are the first three of the mail orders that I have ordered in the last couple of weeks, and there's quite a lot of them still to come. So this is the latest from, not the latest, it's a reissue of the earlier material from a band called Look Blue Go Purple. Um, all female band from Dunedin, original Flying Nun band from the mid 80s. So this is a double LP that look uh, that gathers together, I think they released originally just the two, just two like five track EPs. Um, so Basically, we've got one, we've got four tracks on one side, five tracks on the other, and then okay. So it looks like three EPs. Yeah, first EP on side one, Bewitched. Uh, look, 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 blue go purple. Or EP two on track side two, and this is this is track th uh, side three. Um, and then there's some live tracks from the last one, 83 in Christchurch at Canterbury University. And then Wellington and Mochuaka and yeah, 87 on the rest of the track, 85 and 87. So yeah, that's pretty much I think everything they've recorded. This version is just the black vinyl version. They did do a version that came out on Record Store Day. And there were some copies still left from where I bought this, but they had a blue vinyl and a purple vinyl. but. It was an extra seven dollars, and I mean, as much as I, I, I like coloured vinyl, I'm not really going to fork out too much extra for the for the things. Um, the other issue is coloured vinyl. There can be some sound issues with it compared to black vinyl. I think if you're really into your audio file, you probably don't go with that. Into Orbit, second album has just turned up. Um, great cover work, artwork. Uh, I've got their first album, which I showed on video many, many moons ago. This is just on black. Um, Self-released. Um, got it via their uh, band camp page. Um, I think they had a fundraiser to get the money together to re release this record. Um, so quite a few people have picked it up on the, on the um, New Zealand Facebook page that I've seen. Uh, instrumental rock, or post-rock, as some would call it. So I've got that particular style. I mean, if I say those words, you know, that will give you a pretty good idea of what it is. Um, <sighs> they're a good band, but they're not the best band I've heard that do this style of music. Um, some people really, really like them. They are quite popular, but I mean, I need to give it a few more listens, but it is cool. And the last of the vinyl, and this is the pick of the bunch, is this one here. This is a band called I.E. Crazy. Um, this is on Musei Records, and I think this is their debut album. Um, only just hit the shops and only just hit the online stores a couple of weeks ago. Um, non Compass Mentis. This is kind of dark um, alt pop, alt rock. Yeah, it, it's, it's sort of sparse, quite sparse and minimal. It's nice though, it's good to, you know. You can hear quite a lot of detail, it's not overwhelming with walls of noise, um, like a lot of pop music and rock music can be. Um, but yeah, it's quite dark, and that's, I, I think, is the lead singer on the, front. <laughs> it's the back end of her on the front. Um, yeah, this album is, for me, I think, probably one of the best New Zealand records of the year so far, actually. I am really, really getting into it. Um, yeah, it, it's. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It is. It's dark, alt, alt pop, alt rock, sort of whatever you call it. I don't know. But I'm really enjoying that. And then finally, I'm going to blaspheme a little bit here. Um, there's some new CDs arrived. Again, I've just, I've kind of like, um, just quietly, quietly going off the track on my New Zealand month for a little bit. But I actually ordered these earlier before the start of the month. And basically, what I have here is the last three volumes of John Zorn's. Book of Angels, Masada, Book 2, 
Um, this is volume 29. Auto Auto Y Auto Yaya Why no? Auto Auto Why no? I don't know how you say that. Auto Yaya no. Um, they are an Israeli prog proggy kind of post rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. They've done Tazdix. Zadok CDs before, and I have one of them on the Radical Jewish music series, and it was quite good. I actually prefer it better to, than this. Um, some of the there's, there's been several volumes of prog rock type or post rock type music that they put out with John Zorn's Masada series, and they're they're not the best ones of the Masada series. Um, the next one is volume 30, this is volume 30 here, I mean they've got cool artwork in them and then they're, nice, they're nicely packaged. Um, the Gareth Knox and Saltarello, Saltarello Trio, um, this is pretty sparse, it's almost classical interpretation of the music, of the Masada music. Um, Viola, cello, percussion, and or two violas, viola, viola. So two of them in a cello. So it's a quart, four of them, but it's pretty sparse. Um, I've had a listen to each of these. Those first two, mm, they're okay, but probably need a little bit more attention. But this one was much, much more. I, I, I like this actually more as a trio. This is volume thirty-one. Um, the Brian Marcella Trio, um, so you have piano, bass and drums, Trevor Dunn and Kelly, Kenny Wallison are um, two pretty much well-known musicians that play John John's music. Um, this is the pick of the three um, and from what I understand is the very last volume in book two and so that will be the lot. Um, there is a book three that's been performed over the last 12 months or so in New York City. Um, my understanding originally was that there wasn't any recordings being made. Or was that the Big Teller series? Of... Anyway, I heard there's an 11 CD volume, CD box set coming out in November of book three, and that will be the end of Masada complete. Um, the Masada book one and two and all of the associate recordings that have come out, I think, are the pick of John Zorn's huge catalogue of music. I think it's his most, probably, well, not his most accessible, but certainly more accessible than a lot of the other music. And um, I think it's probably one of the defining body, parts of his body of work um, now and in the future. So, so really pleased to have all of those now, all 31 volumes it's taken. 12 years, I think, to get them all out, finally. So, that's my video for tonight, and I should get the other one that I made last week actually up onto the onto YouTube very soon, so that I can then post this one up as well. And I'll be making another video probably next weekend, because I will have at least a half a dozen or more records I expect should be turning up, hopefully in the next week. Alright, 